My name is Dr. Brian Galoni. I'm a uh, family physician here in Gehanna, Ohio. That's a little suburb outside. Of, really? That's a little suburb outside of uh, of uh, Columbus, right in the center of Ohio. And this is my walking buddy Harley. And uh, first of all, um, I've been uh, leading walks with a doc for several years now. And the, and the reason I like doing that is I get to get out and and talk to people and do some education in an informal setting, and um, I get to do this without having to worry about kind of the restrictions we see in the office, like copays and formularies and dressing in a nice suit or wearing a lab coat or what have you. And the other reason I really like getting out is because I like doing something called leading by example. So I get out, get out and talk to people and answer their questions and help them set goals, and then we go for a walk. And we can show people how easy it is to exercise. Um, so first of all, I want to welcome everybody to Base Camp. And I want to thank you for participating these two weeks in this virtual trek uh, on uh, uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. Um, I, my hope is that after all this, this if it's not already a, uh, uh, a habit of yours, I, I, I hope it does become a, a habit to exercise. Um, and the reason I, I hope it becomes a habit is exercise. There's just so many benefits to exercise. And many of you um, are familiar with, I'm sure, with, with all these benefits to exercise. You know, they, they reduce your risk of getting diabetes and heart disease, um, and high blood pressure. And, and if you have those problems already, it reduces uh, or it helps you keep that stuff under control. There's a ton of other benefits out there. Um, Dr. Sabger has posted 100 things that have been shown in studies to either improve or be prevented uh, by exercise. So I encourage you to check out their Walk With A Doc website and, and see what those are. So the benefit you get from exercise really is not about the calories you burn. That's a little secret I'm going to share with you. It's not about the calories you burn. It is really more about getting a heart rate up to a certain point, and the study suggests if you can do this for 20 minutes, get the heart rate up, you will um, begin to flip some switches in your body. You begin to flip some switches and your body starts doing the things it needs to do better and more efficiently. So it manages sugar better, it, the heart pumps better, and you also start to reduce or to release some hormones. One of those hormones is, um, is uh, endorphins. Um, do you know what endorphins are? Yeah, endorphins is your natural Prozac. So when your body releases endorphins, you, you kind of feel like, you know what, I got this. Uh, I'm not going to worry about this. Uh, everything's going to be okay. Uh, exercise has been shown to reduce depression and anxiety and stress. So even more benefits to exercise. So what is exercise? Well, we all know that if you get out and sweat or we, we kind of picture the exercising person sweaty and stinky um, but what's interesting is you don't have to get all sweaty and stinky to see these kind of benefits to start flipping those switches all you have to do is get your heart rate up to a certain point and maintain that heart rate for about 20 minutes and if you can do that three four times a week you're going to see these benefits so how high do you have to get your heart rate up? Well, you want to get up, get it up to a point where you can maintain that heart rate for about 20 minutes. So that's your what, what we call the, the aerobic capacity, aerobic target area. And there's there's some calculations you can do. You can go look up and figure out what's what's your maximum heart rate, and um, take 80% of that, and that's considered about your aerobic area. But I'm going to let you in on one more secret before I go, and that is there's an easier way to figure out your aerobic capacity or, or that aerobic target area. If you can get out and walk at a pretty good pace where you can just barely carry on a conversation, you're probably in that aerobic area, that aerobic capacity area. So just getting out and walking is enough. You don't even have to work up a big sweat, but you get out and walk and you can start flipping those switches and releasing those healthy hormones. So hopefully that encourage you. Um, to get out and exercise and make it a habit. If it's not, if it is a habit, good for you. Keep it up, and uh, I hope to see you later on on the mountain. Have a great day.